Well, it's party time over at First National Real Estate in Cairns today in Cairns Central because they've they've done so well at the big awards in Brisbane. The First National Real Estate, it says here, Cairns Central, recognised for outstanding achievement at the General Excellence and Marketing Awards held at the Sofitel Brisbane. This was Saturday night. They've won several individual awards as well as the number one property management department in Queensland. I've got a very happy David Forrest on the line, Director of First National Ken Central. David, good morning and congratulations. Thanks, John. We were very excited. It was a, a big night for us. It's a big wrap, isn't it? I mean, to so say you've, you've, you've done so well in, in various categories. Give us, a, give us a bit of the background. Look, it's, a, it's an annual award for the, the uh, 2017 calendar year. Uh, we ended up with six individual awards, uh, two gold and four silver awards, and then the, uh, the award for the number one property management department, which we were very surprised with, and, and but we got to both have to say, very happy too. This is interesting, because uh, property management at the moment is, well, there's a focus on it, isn't there? I mean, everyone says, oh, gee, it's so hard to get a rental property. People sometimes report 20, I think I heard 28 applications for a property a couple of weeks ago. So talk to us about, well, um, how difficult it is out there for you basically handling more um, more applications than you can you can satisfy. Well, it's, it's, I was doing some figures the other day. We actually had uh, 750 people through last month, different properties uh, looking for rent. Uh, we're renting one a day and we're, uh, we're putting through about 230 applications per month, which you know really does mean that it's pretty competitive out there at the moment. Tell me about, well, basically excellence when you're talking about property management. What's the focus and what made you number one in the state? Well, I suppose uh, being fairly big helps. Uh, also, you've, the processes and the and technology, uh, technology sort of creeping into just about everything, and property management certainly is is one of those fields. Uh, we try and make it easy for people to get in to uh, inspect properties. We run a twenty four seven computer operated uh, booking system, uh, and look, it's not just about collecting rent and trying to maximise rent. It's also about sort of making sure that you, you're prompt with maintenance. Uh, risk management is one of those huge issues these days with the litigious world that we live in. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, managing, the, making sure that the properties are, are safe uh, and, and those sort of things are priorities. So it's, it's a matter of sort of day-to-day management in terms of collecting rent, but also you know, trying to maximise the property's uh, value by making sure the maintenance is update, updated and uh, making sure that the tenants have a livable and comfortable property to live in. We're talking about hundreds of properties, aren't we? Do you have to outsource your tradies or do you actually keep them as part of the staff? No, no. All our tradies are contractors. Uh, they um, they register with us with their insurance and their, um, their, their proper licensing. Uh, and these days, you know, you, you really do have to have qualified tradies doing all the jobs by the way you've just touched on something too your property owners i presume they are like everybody else they struggle with holding insurance costs down do you help them with that or is that fundamentally up to them look we sort of half and half uh john some of them like us to be involved some of them don't want us to be involved uh insurance is one of those uh sort of growing costs that is making it very difficult for landlords to hang on um the insurance obviously has been moving upwards for some time now and yeah it really is one of those sort of things where you you, you move through brokers you see what's right at the right time uh, loyalty and in insurance doesn't seem to exist anymore no exactly <laughs> david let me ask you this too while i'm i've got you there i know we're talking about uh, rental properties but on yeah. the sales side you know there's there's mixed reports around you talk to people in business they're still struggling that seems to be the common uh, word i get uh, people keep saying in real estate it's just a matter of time. This year looks like the year at long last there'll be movement upwards in the value of properties. Some people have been wanting to move on for a decade. What's your view on that? Look, yeah, it's, it, it, we, to me it seems like we're in a bit of a pressure cooker. All the indicators like employment, construction, uh, tourism and things are pointing in the direction that uh, we should end up having a good uh, real estate market. But it has been a, a big lag time and, you know, we've had those cranes in the sky for some time and it's just not extrapolated into the marketplace. Certainly we're not having a, uh, a downward trend. Our market's holding, uh, which, is, which is a good thing and it's not that, that way necessarily right across Queensland, mm. that's for sure. 
But it's, it's funny because I've, I've had the same sort of thing with people have said sort of at the beginning of 2016, the beginning of 2017 and now 2018, yes. this has got to be the year. Yes. Uh, I'm certainly hoping it is. Of course. Tell me about the party on Saturday night. Did you all have a let your hair down after the big wins? Well, after the big win, there was a couple of cocktails that were consumed, I'd have to agree. Um, maybe a little bit of whiskey, but uh, it was all, all in good fun. We had to get up early in the morning. It was actually Saturday a week ago. We had to come back here for the uh, Clean Up Australia Day uh, up at Trinity Beach, so okay. we were a bit weary to get on the plane early in the morning. Were. I bet you were. Good on you, Dave. Thank you. No problem. David Forrest, Director with First National Can Central. They cleaned up at the uh, big real estate awards in Brisbane.